Let's talk about calculating the elasticity of demand using the arc elasticity. Now the formula, or actually let's just show you what we're trying to do here. So let me find my pen. Let's draw, oops, my pen doesn't want to show up. I want to do this in red. So here's price up here, quantity down here, not quite totally straight. Let's say we raise our price from $10, and at $10 we sell 1,000 units, or people want to buy 1,000 units. At $11, let's assume people only want to buy 900. Now, if you change the price, you're just moving along a demand curve. So let's just show the portion of a demand curve along there. Now, we know the elasticity of demand is percentage change, it's supposed to be change, triangle, that looks a little better, doesn't it? And quantity demanded all over the percentage change. Delta again means change in price. Well, how do we find the percentage change? Well, it's in quantity. Well, you subtract the two quantities. So we started at $10, went up to $11. At $10, we had a thought, so actually let's just put an A here and a B here to help us keep track of it. So starting out with A, um, we take the new minus the old. So in this case, we want to take the change would be 900 minus 1,000. So in other words, oops, 1,000 it helps to have the right number of zeros. Amazing how that matters. Now we want to divide by the average quantity. So what, add them up, divide by 2? Okay, so the top part right here, that's a change in quantity. Putting in percentage terms means you divide, normally you divide by the original number, but this case in arc elasticity, and again this is the, oh, where shall we put it? Let's put it right here. This is the arc elasticity, or the midpoint. Just means we're taking we're taking it right in the middle. And that, what that does is it means that if we raise or lower the price, we get the same elasticity. Okay, and then for um, price, we want to take $11, our new minus 10. That gives us our change in price. Now we want to put it in percentage terms, so let's divide by the original. So 11 plus 10 divided by 2 calculate all that together. So calculate 900 minus 1,000 is what? Um, so negative 100 divided by um, what? 950 divided by 1 divided by 1050 and it looks like that's pretty much going to be negative um, point one zero oh five three. Oops, wrong. A negative. Put the wrong number there. So if I calculate that correctly, that comes out to be negative one point one. And that's what we do. Now let's just run through it one more time. Make sure we've got it. We're raising our price from. $10 to $11. Higher prices, law of demand, people buy less. Well, if they buy less, what is the elasticity? We want to put a number to calculate how responsive people are. So let's calculate how much less they buy. 900 minus 1,000 divided by the average quantity. 900 plus 1,000 divided by 2. Then let's look at how much higher price caused this. We went from 10 to 11. 11 minus 10 is a raise in price divided by the average price. We'll put it in percentage terms. Calculate it all. Negative 1.1. If it's greater than 1, it's elastic. Cool.